Also making news tonight, an increase in domestic violence prompting the Royal Bahamas Police Force to specifically address this issue with its officers. Carla Palmer reports on a three-day seminar underway. As frontline workers in the fight against crime, training continues to be essential for Royal Bahamas Police Force officers, primarily as they interact with members of the public in what are sometimes sensitive matters that can easily escalate into serious crimes like domestic abuse. Domestic related matters, which decreased by 39% from 3,902 in 2019 to 2,432. Still, with the public's help, Commissioner of Police Paul Rowe tells officers that more must be done to reduce the numbers even more. Commissioner Rowe anticipates this domestic violence training seminar to further empower and equip officers with the skills necessary to reflect change. Like Director of the Department of Gender and Family Affairs, Dr. Jacinta Higgs, he is also cognizant of the fact that the Bahamas has the highest rate of sexual offenses per capita in the Caribbean. You must evolve with the understanding that you are accountable to the members of the public. Your actions are constantly being monitored and with convenience of technology, you are always on display. When dealing with domestic related matters, use common sense, fueled with empathy and compassion, which are the hallmarks of a consummate professional. Never allow personal feelings, emotions and bias based on your worldview or outlook to infringe on anyone's constitutional right and the ability to receive police assistance. With shifting cultural norms and values in society, effective policing requires open-mindedness and innovative thinking. One case of gender-based violence, one case of sexual offense is one too many. And so therefore we saw a decrease in certain aspects, but we also saw a little increase in sexual offenses. And so therefore that's serious enough for us. And so really we need to do our uh, inter multi-sectoral approach to mitigate gender-based violence. The seminar ends on Thursday. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.